Hello. In this lesson, we're going to learn tin and ta. So we keep the position of na, which is na, played on the sur, and tin, which is t i n, is similar to na, but it's the index finger is played on the shy. So move the finger, move the index finger in to play on the on the shy. So that's tin. And if the ring finger also, uh, not the ring finger, I beg your pardon, the middle finger can also have contact for tin. So both fingers, uh, primarily the index finger, but if the, the middle finger is also striking the drum for tin, that's fine also. So again, the wrist comes up, comes down, and the this is what happens. That's that's the position. So this finger is still hovering above, but if it does have contact with the shy, it actually gives it a, another depth, a kind of muted depth. Uh, uh, I believe that's a, a Benares um, fashion. So that's tin. Da is played up right on the rim. And you can hear really hear the wood. Now with ta, your finger doesn't come off the drum. It stays on the drum for maximum percussive effect. So these are all these are all the same um, as na. They're all the same family. Um, only you're doing it slightly in a different position and you're doing it at varying um, uh, the way that you play, the strength that you play. So like with ta, to get that sound, you've got to come in with a bit more force. And then the finger stays down. So you can use your thumb as uh, to um, cushion the impact or control the impact um, as a kind of barrier. So the thumb then comes onto the uh, gajara, the braided part of the drum here. And they work together to produce tar. So tin, na, and ta. Tin, na, and ta. I will play them without saying them so you can hear properly. Tin ta. slow motion Tim. 
Ting No Ta Tisa